Hi guys, uh, this is just a very quick video um, to sort of show you how I got this really cool cyberpunk lighting um, on this image that I created. Uh, someone has very kindly put a load of uh, some Manhattan Nights kind of like cyberpunky HDRIs online. Um, they're completely free. Uh, he went and took them. Um, you can download them free from this link here. I mean, it kind of makes it quite obvious. Uh, download them um, because of the sort of storage policies of Gumroad uh, you can just click to the Dropbox link and that'll load up the Dropbox link and then you can just download direct download and then save them to your desktop uh, and then what you want to do is to get these into Blender um, we need to if we just split the screen here uh, to show this off what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a plane just scale it up slightly uh, bring up the default boy and then I will add a sphere in as well just to kind of show it of everything that's going on here um, I'm just gonna delete this light because we won't need it because HRIs provide all that nice cyberpunk lighting um, if we just fly this around here just to frame that up okay if we go into render view at the minute um, you can see it's very dark. You can't see a lot of what's going on. Uh, sorry, just before I forget, I'm going to darken this so we can just kind of focus on what we're seeing. Um, so in the split window here, I'm going to open up the shader editor. Now I'm just going to give these materials just uh, very like just a basic uh, reflective material. Uh, that just allows us to really see what's going on with uh, the HDRIs. And I'm going to give the sphere a completely flat surface um, for the cube. I'll make it metallic again, but I'm just going to leave a bit of roughness on it. Uh, and then for the floor, I'll just darken this down. And then give that a slight, uh, reduce the roughness on that slightly as well. Uh, and this is where the really cool stuff happens. So if we go into the world tab, um, we get the background tab, sort of like the background box here. This controls this color that you see in the background in the render view. And this is actually casting light onto the scene. Um, so you can see that if we go red, bright, it does actually change the color of the render view scene. It's not just the background of the viewport. Um, so what you can do though, is if you drop that to black or the strength down, um, if we go to edit preferences um, and then in the add-on panel here, yeah, you just want to make sure Node Wrangler is enabled, uh, which it is on mine. Um, but just if you're following along with this, make sure Node Wrangler is enabled for this next step. Uh, so I'm just going to go back to the front view here, and we can't see anything uh, because I've turned the strength down on the background um, and I made it back. We are actually going to want to just bump that up slightly you know, back to one. And if we click on the background node and press Control T. Uh, that is the Node Wrangler shortcut to bring up uh, the HDRI texture into this background and it kind of plugs it in. Uh, the reason it's gone all pink is because for uh, Blender kind of makes anything pink just to highlight the fact that there's a texture missing, for example, like it expects something to be there and it's not. And that's because we need to plug in one of the HDRIs into this environment texture. So I saved them uh, into my HDRI folder um, in my Google Drive and we've got them here. And then, so all you do is you click it, open image, and bang, you've got your nice cyberpunk HDRI in the background. Um, what I am going to do is I'm just gonna add a empty, uh, just kind of into the middle here, just bring it up, uh, bring it forward. I'm just gonna use this as a point of focus for the camera. Uh, the reason of which I'll show you in a second. We just select that empty. Bring the depth of field down just to get a nice bit of background blur. Um, and I'll, I'll explain that in a second. So uh, we have the Cyberpunk lighting um, kind of already working. Uh, there are a range of different ones uh, that you kind of get that like neon pinky glow uh, with one of them. Uh, there's this sort of a bowling alley kind of shopping mall kind of casting light from above uh, we've got 
So we've got kind of like more like, so this is like downtown Chinatown. Um, and I guess these like really nice kind of ready color. Uh, but the one I quite like is this one. Cause you get kind of like a bit of blue, a bit of pink. Um, and then using the rotation of this mapping node, uh, you can see in the sphere here, this actually rotates the HDRI. So you can kind of tweak the lighting and the influence of the lighting to sort of fit your scene better. Uh, and the reason I set the depth of field is because if we were focusing on uh, this object kind of, you know, from front on, and we wanted the lighting and we wanted a bit of the background kind of in there, um, you might not want the background actually like in focus. So when you set the depth of field on the camera, it does actually get rid of the background. Um, it kind of it blurs the background kind of as you'd expect with the depth of field. Uh, if you don't want like a shallow depth of field like that and you just don't want the background there because you're going to composite it onto something else later. If you go into the render properties tab, uh, you go down to uh, film and then transparent. If we check that, the background goes away, um, but you still get the reflections and the sort of lighting uh, from that. Um, and yeah, and you can, like I said, you can rotate it kind of any which way, I guess some weird, just to really twist that line. So you can kind of see now on this rough cube, we're getting some really nice like colors playing off that. But if you want to crank up the sort of cyberpunk feel a lot further, um, because this has already got kind of like a ready and bluey kind of information in it, uh, what we can do is we drag those over and then add in an RGB curves node and then just drop that between the HDRI and the background. Uh, nothing changes immediately, but, oh, oh, that's a bit disorientating. Let's just set that one back to zero. Um, what we can do is we can use this curve uh, to sort of like crush the greens and like, or if you wanted to raise the greens, no matter what look you were going for. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to bring the greens down slightly and that immediately you get like a lot more of a pinky color. Um, raise the blues up, raise those reds up. So now we're getting that really nice sort of cyberpunk look. Um, and again, all for free. Uh, which is just great. It's a good pack of HRIs. I was very happy with them uh, when I saw them. And yeah, so that's how I uh, created this scene. Let's just go over to the 3D viewport. If we swap this, swap this to rendered view, well, you kind of see I've got that lighting uh, effect there over to the world tab, you can see that I've got the HDRI, I've got the uh, RGB curves, and I've just got that re really nice sort of street lighting uh, of this kind of weird cyborg be kind of sci-fi kind of cyberpunk look. Um, but yeah, again, so, if, so this is the website. Uh, I'll put the link in the description to this. Um, I definitely recommend downloading them. It's just, it's going to add so much more value and just ease to creating these cyberpunk scenes. Um, but yeah, if you create anything with these, please do let me know. I'd love to see them. Uh, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.